Good morning, beloved. Firstly, I would just like to have a big shout out to Uncle Andy in the off-grid garage for raising awareness to my plight. Um, yes, it's as cold as I look. Uh, let's turn you around because you don't want to be looking at me. Oh, I can't even... S yeah, well, turn around. Where's the bloody... So Uncle Andy has advised to show more of the beautiful Scottish scenery to all my lovely new subscribers and less of my face. So, quick, uh, quick uh, catch up on my story so far. That is the majority of all the panels that came off of uh, the house when we upgraded them to tree in a solar vertex s um, because the the feeding tariff and the power of those had dropped off um, quite significantly so thinking that there's a few dead panels in amongst the bunch that i've got to sort out but they're going all the way down there to a ground array and then it's pumped uphill to charge the batteries through the big blue unknown inverter. Uh, did he? So it's probably about we've measured it. Well, measured it out before. It's about 75 meters away from uh, the workshop and the inverter. It's because of the price of materials is absolutely shocking at the moment here lies an old um that was an old touring caravan and that was an old trailer tent and there's various other bits and pieces of scrap metal that has been collected up over the years uh where are we there we are so that will be on the ground and then the solar panel rails will go on that face there. The angle of this former is set to uh, 55 degrees which is my latitude which is the best for the all round, all year, all round average. Um, there's a few there's a few um, aluminium uh, solar panel mounting rails that came with all the Gumtree specials that I got off of Gumtree, obviously. Um, so I've got the four formers. So I'll have one at the end, a couple in the middle, and then one up this end laid out in a nice long run. Um, instead of loads of ground works and concrete in works and things like that which are just more cost and expense when we built the houses the house this used to be an old coal mining village and the place was bulldozed some of the residents bought their houses off of the coal board the rest was flattened all the topsoil was removed all the slates were reclaimed um, and everything else was just left so I pull bricks out of the ground like they're bloody potatoes. So the plan is, is all that rubble is going to be used as bloody great paperweights. And I've got curbs, oh, mind my feet. I've got a load of curb stones as well that weigh an absolute shit ton. So they'll go down in the base of it as a paperweight. And then way over yonder in my vegetable plot, I've got pallet sides so uh, that I use for raised borders so behind the so have the solar panels stood up and then behind the solar panels I'm gonna have all my planters and again the the rails will be affixed to these planters and buried and things like that so I'll have um, a windbreak wall for a vegetable vegetable plot because the prevailing wind absolutely 
batters from that direction, which is sort of southwest. Um, so it'll be good to get a bit of uh, a bit of shelter for vegetable vegetable patch. Um, it's an absolutely spankingly gorgeous day, so hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of um, a little bit of progress done down here. Got holes to drill and things to eyeball and squint at. Stuck to the bloody ground, did it? It's not too bad that one. <laughs> Sorry, motherfucker. Can't be dealing with that. Oh, need to. Yeah, so no gloves have been invented. So be a, be a little something like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. With the bottom rail bolted a little bit up off the ground, away over to there. So it should be pretty cool. But it'll take a bit of uh, it'll take a bit of head scratching and a bit of umming and ahhing and a bit of laying out and redoing. But that'll be the goal for today: is to just get it roughly lined out and maybe a couple of holes just to stitch it together.
Oh, 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 it's so good. Don't move. Which one? All over. A little something like so. So, just give it all the Mark 1 eyeball. And uh, I should probably stretch a string line through it to get it as straight as a straight and as flush as I can. The ground is quite level here. I've managed to build it up. Originally, the, my ground sloped away really quite severely at this bit. But over the years, we managed to flatten it out to a bit of a terrace. Ideally, I'd like, like that terrace, that flattened often terrace. There was a polytunnel there, but the wind reclaimed that. So sort of, that's how much my ground dropped away. There's a side access road there that uh, used to be from the old coal mining village. There's one of the original houses. And then there was all houses down in that bit as well. And up, and there used to be a miner's row up the road, uh, which at one point in time, historically speaking, had one of the lowest qualities of living in the UK, as in no running water and outside toilets and all of that jazz, blah, blah, blah. These houses, the original coal mining village was about 120 years old. Uh, down in there is an absolute rubble pile. It's very, very dangerous to walk in. So, if I crouch down, that'll be lovely, lovely bit of shelter for a vegetable plot. <sighs> Right, it's about nine. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, maybe about half past nine now. So, isn't that pretty? Um, but what I shall do is the sun's just starting to kiss them, so I'll give them a sweep off, and that'll be that. And then I'll go back to down there. I can't see bugger all on the screen for the low sun. What a lovely problem to have. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I had a breaker panel. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to do jobs one-handed. So if I don't do this, I won't get any power. And also if I don't do this and it thaws, and then freezes again. It'll just end up with a, a sheet of ice on it and then they'll never defrost. So that's what you've got to do to get some energy. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Nice bit of powder. I really, really would like to get skiing this season, but I haven't got the money, so I'm probably going to be another season that I miss out on. So that's my Gumtree specials. I've got a four kilowatt system off of Gumtree a couple of years ago, including all the rails and the inverter and all of that for £595. Picked them up from Manchester, so it was well worth the drive down from Scotland to Manchester and these work absolutely perfectly produce massive amounts of power still not like those ones that came off of the house roof that are really quite degraded 
Uh, come the better weather and the stronger sunshine, I'll probably put me uh, L Joy tester on it to see if I can identify if there are any duff ones. The house roof will defrost quite quickly. Um, I have got a big long uh, seven metre long solar panel cleaning brush um, that's water, got a water feed in it and whatever um, but as soon as they get a little crack of a little crack on the black panels helps to defrost things really really quite quickly it's just starting to go at the top and we have actually got some power coming in where these are half cell split cells and all that fancy modern jazz um, they slowly wake up and give us some power and then it just gets better and better and better really quite quickly so those ones i'm not worried about they'll defrost really quite quickly cock that'll be me coffee cold the struggle is real in northern latitudes bugger yeah cold so just a quick a quick quick update to all my all my new subscribers um andy added a couple of hundred over a couple of hundred subscribers overnight which is really quite awesome and really quite scary um so it's just a quick update on on life this morning and what the and what the goals are so i think that's going to be awesome uh yeah please keep keep following keep liking and subscribing and commenting as i've grown some lovely pen pals out of this and the comment section is always full of good advice and things like that for an absolute complete novice um so I'll wobble my way through this whole uh home energy generation thing i'll make mistakes along the way there'll be plenty of swearing um whatever so look after yourselves have a great day bye bye for now